Guys, hello. We're gonna do some different builds for Barbarian in Diablo 4 beta. I played all builds, tested everything out as far as Barbarian goes, and I'm gonna give you like five different builds for different combos that you can use as a Barbarian once the open beta starts. I had a lot of fun. Barbarian is the weakest class right now in Diablo 4, but it's the most fun to play and probably the best balanced class. So, let's begin. The first thing that Barbarian gets is his expertise on weapons. The more you use a weapon, the stronger you are with that specific class of weapon. Barbarian is also the only class that can switch between his weapons, or better to say he's yet a blunt weapon, he's got dual wielding weapons, and a slash weapon to annihilate enemies. Now, every specific skill uses a specific weapon, so Barbarian, during the fight, switches weapons non-stop while fighting enemies. Now, let's see the builds and the skill tree. The build I was testing the last was with Frenzy, dual wielding Frenzy, and this is how it looks like, basically. Mega fast attack speed, you whack enemies up, then you double slice them with a double swing, okay, you make them also vulnerable with a double swing, you ground stomp enemies to stun them, I had a legendary item that also makes an earthquake after the ground stomp, and ground stomp generates additional fury, because you need fury to cast spells, this is for the bosses, iron skin that you're gonna trigger to receive less damage and on top of it all once you upgrade your iron skin it's gonna recover some health back and my favorite one would be the kick kick is absolutely hilarious it's great to play with a kick almost all builds i played i was using kick because it's extremely satisfying and you can get your kick upgraded to knock down enemies and to use one as a boulder basically and whack all other enemies with a kick. Kick is absolutely crazy good. I love animations for the kick. Then we skip the entire, uh, what was it? Weapon mastery part of the skill tree. And at the end, we're gonna go to the Iron Maelstrom, where we switch all weapons and annihilate the entire screen in like two seconds. So what he does basically with Iron Maelstorm, he, he switches all weapons and deals tons of damage. That would be the first build for the Barbarian. The second build that I was playing was Bleed build, but again, that all depends out of your weapon. The Bleed build would be a classic Flay. So you pick a Flay, you go with Enhanced Flay to make enemies vulnerable, and you got two options for Flay. You got Thorns options, and you got Flat Damage option, Increased Bleeding. I tested both. Thorns is absolutely great, but then you're gonna need to go for Thorns uh, in the... I don't even say what's the name of the skill tree, it doesn't matter. There's Outburst here with Thorns, you need items with Thorns, and then you play Flay with Thorns. Okay, that's the only difference between two Flay builds, Thorns or without Thorns Flay. The next thing we're gonna go for is Flat Bleeding. After the Flat Bleeding Flay, it depends what weapons bleed. If your dual wielding weapons bleed, you wanna go with a double swing. If you wanna go with additional bleeding, full bleeding build, you will go with Rend, and that's the best option. If you wanna go with AoE, you're gonna go with Upheaval. In this case, we're gonna go with Rend, with Enhanced Rend, and we're gonna make increased damage to vulnerable enemies with red. This is full bleed now. After that, we're gonna need a ground stamp to generate fury and stun enemies for our bleed build. Of course, again, if you went with thorns, you go with thorns here. If you feel weak, you're gonna go with iron skin for some extra defense. After this, we're gonna max out rend until we reach the next skill tree. Uh, into this one, uh, there is two options that you can take. It would be leap, so you can traverse the map faster, escape dangerous situations, or enter the fight like a real man. And there's a kick. I don't know which one I like more. Okay, so uh, in this case, we're gonna take we're gonna take a kick, and kick will 
knockdown enemies. Of course, leap is always great to have. We're going with leap, and now the last point will go again to max out rend. That unlocks the next skill tree where we're gonna take a rupture, where you're gonna pop and explode all enemies that bleed. And you're gonna go with rupture again, enhanced one. And at the end, you're gonna go with, if you feel in danger, you're gonna go with heal. If not, you're gonna go with extra attack speed on rupture. Once done with a rupture, we're gonna go with a hamstring for extra bleeding and cut to the bone for extra bleeding damage on vulnerable enemies. And now we're gonna upgrade play. We unlock the last skill tree over here for the bleed build. And now it's your choice. If you wanna play with Iron Maelstrom, if you got all four weapons that are actually legendary great weapons, you go with Iron Maelstrom to annihilate enemies. If you're playing a bleed build and you wanna be alone, you're gonna go with Wrath of the Berserker. If you wanna go with Summons, Call of the Ancients, if you like Call of the Ancients from Diablo 2, you're gonna go with that. What I would recommend for the bleed build would be Wrath of the Berserker. And that would be the full bleed build for the Barbarian. Now we're gonna go to the stun build. And this stun build is if you plan to play as a, as a Barbarian that's using his main weapon as a hammer. Or better to say, dual wielding hammers and two-handed weapon as a hammer. So that would be the bash build. It's the first build I was playing. What it does, you stun lock enemies non-stop and you have huge AOE. It goes with two different sets. First, we take classic bash, okay? Generate more fury or overpower. Overpower is OP, by the way. And after this, we can go with upheaval that I absolutely love and hammer of the agents. I would recommend upheaval because it's freaking great. So we're gonna go with upheaval, then we're gonna go with enhanced upheaval, and then we're gonna go with with berserking upheaval. After that, again we take the stump with fury generation, then we're gonna max out upheaval, then we're gonna go for uh, if you have items for charge, legendary items that boost charge, you're gonna go with charge. In this case, kick is just crazy good. And of course, leap. After the leap, we max out up heaval again until it's done. Uh, this entire skill tree you can easily pass now. There's only chains, but you don't need chains. So we're gonna max out up heaval. And we're gonna go with Bash until we reach the final part. Two more points to spend. I love using Kick. If you wanna use something else, use it. But this is the way, I guess, for the Bash build. And at the end, we're gonna go with Call of the Ancients. And that would be a stun lock. Okay, Bash build with a Barbarian. The last one that's remaining is a Lunging Strike. Uh, I would recommend that you avoid Lunging Strike because it's extremely weak. And not only that it's weak, it's also boring to play. It's one animation only, okay? It's not as fun, not as impactful as other uh, base attacks. Lunge is just straight up boring crap. Now, what else can I say? If you're gonna use the hammer, you want to use Hammer of the Ancients, still maces and hammers. If you're gonna use some huge two-handed melee weapon and you wanna play with a Whirlwind, although I believe Whirlwind is boring compared to Upheaval, you can go with Whirlwind in your build. This is only valid if you're gonna dual weld with a double swing. As far as shouts go, all the shouts, Rallying Cry, Challenging Shout, War Cry, those are for the multiplayer. Forget about wa wasting points on shouts, battle shouts. Uh, this is end game, okay? Like it was in Diablo 3, when you don't know what to do, you make a support barbarian, and then you use shouts to buff out allies during the greater rifts. So forget about shouts. They do not exist in bait. As far as chains go, they're extremely cool. I love them. Rapture is absolutely crazy good on a, 
on a bleed build and of course there is a dead blow it's if you have one heavy weapon and you want a one shot very boring but very useful ultimates i love maelstrom the most because animations on iron maelstrom are just straight up brutal berserker hey you berserk for a long time okay you deal increased damage for a long time you overpower your your skills and so on very useful but not as cool as maelstrom and of course there's call of the ancients they last very little okay last five six seconds that's low man trust me you want to clear the screen it's iron maelstrom not the ancients and that's about it that's all that you can reach in beta that's why i won't even cover this and what it does maximum level is 25 no matter how you put it you can't reach over here this is all subject to change for the full release this is only for beta so you can have a overview about different builds for the barbarian and what skills do also what i would like to say if you want to check every skill in detail i'll also release the video with full description and hover above every skill in the game for all three classes barbarian rogue and sork thanks for watching and i'll be seeing you on the next one